Welcome all you lords and ladies of fate. In this stream, we play all manner of tabletop RPGs for your entertainment. This is the only tabletop Twitch stream, don't at me, that allows you to control the destinies of our players' earned fate chips just by watching and also by following, hosting, or subscribing. Spend those wonderful fate chips. They are not tasty. Do not eat them. 
to buy or heal your favorite players, make them say or do silly things, and even force them into random encounters, which might happen today. Ooh. Tonight we are playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, set in the world of Adenia, a place where diametrically opposed factions are vying for all control of magic in the world. Where did that go? Oh, I'm not going to be able to find that tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome! All of you lords and ladies, how are we doing this fa fantastic Wednesday? Hey, super duper. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, well, for, for you, maybe for just a little bit longer. Oh, wait, no, actually, it's <laughs> Thursday, my dudes, for me. But... Yeah. Let's go ahead and go down the line, and uh, everyone, we're going to go ahead and do some intros. We've got Good Devil playing Quentin, the half-elf warlock. Hiya! We've got Jesse playing Holly Hera, the half elf druid. Then we have Nat playing the bugbear barbarian. Oh, never go full girl. Uh. <laughs> Tavy playing Sister Nova, the Asmar Paladin with absolutely no levels in anything else. Hi. And Jen Washitashi as Poisonous Gray, the half. No, he's not half. Well, yeah, he is. He's half orc. He's half orc, half uh something. <laughs> half spice. Half Sorcerer orc. extraordinaire. Half spice. <laughs> and myself, I am Armand, the humble dungeon master for this wonderful campaign. And I am so happy to be here with you all and to play some wonderful Dungeons and Dragons. So uh, let's go ahead and um uh, do a, a little trivia question for anyone who might be in chat uh, to get some extra, extra fate chips. Uh, let's see. What did Quentin find in the corner of the stairwell room? His butt. I don't remember. And... While while we're waiting for anyone who would like to answer that question, we'll go ahead and see do we, who wants to do. Oh wait, wait, we we have a what? Yes, you're muted. I was just saying that you know that is false. I have not been able to find my butt yet. I've been chasing <laughs> it for years and still cannot catch it. I'm basically Ooh, a and mushroom. you know what is quick the real is joke he a dog. <laughs> the true the true joke is always in the chat, and we have. His tragic backstory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Atlas gets Atlas gets some extra points, some extra fate chips there for the correct answer of the plant. So yes, a uh, bonus for, if you for can remember Cuba. what the plant, what the plant's name is. <laughs> Gray. <laughs> oh, and hi, Dark Force. How's it going? Why are you sad? Come on, come on in. Dust oh, off some sad, dust. Dark dust off your seat. Have a have a have a seat. And and just enjoy the 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 craziness of uh, what's about to happen. Split. Well, that is the type of plant. Yes, but the plant has a name. Give her chips anyway. Oh, we were remembering we split split leaf philodendron is the fact that I actually put the plant and the plant's name in my inventory. <laughs> Dark Force, you've been searching for a D and D group, a D and D group to watch, or a D and D group to be a part of, because we do have ways for you to be a part of this wonderful stream. Exactly. Stick around. I promise. Uh, basically, uh, I'll go ahead and do the little, the little pre, uh, the little pre stream uh, spiel here. Basically we have uh, items that you can uh, redeem. Uh, basically use the uh, command exclamation point redeem followed by uh, one of the words that's in that little list of items there. You can heal the group. Uh, give out skill bonuses or skill drops, a glitch. Glitch would just basically uh, uh, make a character's uh, action or something they're trying to do backfire on them. Oh, and thanks for the follow. M lovely, lovely to have you here. I think Atlas correctly guessed the name of the plant. Uh, close. So close. So close. Let me see. I have it written down here somewhere. It's on my character sheet. Yeah, actually, that is 100% tr uh, correct. She gets a uh, bonus uh, fate chips. Um, Dark Force, basically, uh, you can um, get items or heal or get random encounters to to, to throw at the party. Also, we have um, uh, a uh, for a lot of fate chips, you'd have to hang around for a little bit. But you you could do a uh, a, a guest spot. We do allow guest spots. Ooh. 
I am too new to play with anyone. Dark Force. I love new players. Not I love. I love experience. You know what? Join our Discord because we always have new games going on, uh, new plans and stuff. Uh, we do uh, announcements and stuff like that. If if this is something that you you think would be fun for you, please by all means be a part of the community. Uh, that's how we vet people. Uh, just be an awesome member of the community. It sounds like uh, we're always looking for new cast members. It's um. So um. Yeah. Well. I mean, you know, if you're looking to just get started on D and D, I find that usually just jumping into the deep end really does work. Mm-hmm. You know, like find some friends. Um, I know that's easier said than done. Um, and maybe dungeon master for a bit. You know, like that's how I initially got started. And um, for and for what it's worth, there, Dark Force. This is my first campaign. You know. Mhm. Well, my first. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time I've ever DM'd too. So. First for a lot of us. So. You, you would never mm-hmm. know. It's like we shouldn't have said that because, like, the rest of the stream. Well, oh uh, yeah, now the uh, the the mystique <laughs> is gone. Mystique. Uh, well, I guess yeah, it's time to hang it up, guys. Mm-hmm. Well, we do have some um some some things to get to. Let's do let's do a recap. Who who wants to start us off on our dysfunctional recap? Um, uh, I got tongue punched in the fart box by a chair. You you absolutely did. One hundred percent. Hey Atlas, thanks for that uh uh, uh re up on your sub. That's ten months. That's you're you've been born. You you've been you've been pushed out of the Lords and Ladies of Fate um uh, no, uh no. vaginal no, canal. That's, that's no no, that's so cursed. Why would you phrase it like that? <laughs> Why? You you had the choice of the entire we carried you. vocabulary and you chose the, that particular sequence of words. Why would we you carried do that? you for nine and months we, inside we, our why womb? Why would you do that to not only us but also yourself? <laughs> why would you do that How do you why why am I this way is the question that I ask myself often. But anyway, we'll just get right into it. So um, we, uh, our party found themselves in the uh, the magical wizard tower of a one Thaddeus Flibbits, a um, uh, ancient wizard. Um, and uh, on the first floor, our party, let's go ahead and give you a better view of this first floor here. So uh, the first floor here, uh, uh, there were a bunch of mimics. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks, Dark Force. Love to see you here. Um, we love Dark Force. So, um, yeah, so we fought We fought a bunch of mimics, uh, successfully, I might add, and leveled up. Everybody is now level five. <laughs> exactly. Feel the strength. Feel the strength. I did not pick my nose on stream. Everyone shut up. For your favorite. So, uh... After the fight, uh, Gurr, in his wonderful wisdom, decided that there was not going to be a chance for anything else to become a mimic and come alive and fight the party. So he went around to every single room and smashed everything. Yeah. Everything. Like a good bugbear barbarian should okay. do. Uh, followed by um, the discovery of the stairwell and a mysterious plant in the corner. Uh, further examination of the plant, you all, uh, I, I believe Sister Nova discovered that that plant actually was, is a, is a cursed person. And I put him in, or them, in my messenger bag. Mm-hmm. And For safekeeping. they're now my best friend. <laughs> well, one of my best friends. I have so many best friends. <laughs> Sister Nova just out there making friends left and right everywhere, everywhere she goes. It's it's fantastic. Most I people love it. may see a cursed person. Sister Nova sees a new friend. <laughs> and you know what? I really hope. I really hope we get. Um, uh, what's uh, what's my good friend's name? I hope uh, I hope Erm Slayer makes his way back into the chat at some point in time today because his level five encounter is uh, is going to happen. We stand level five encounters. Oh my god! No, we don't. <laughs> Maybe not because he's got wedding stuff to get ready for. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. Well, I'll make sure. I I'll, I'll make sure we uh we we give a nice good description of what happens getting, to him so he knows. Erm's getting married. No, uh, Jamie to Sarah. the sea. 
Uh, well, I know that. Also, there's like, yeah, there's two weddings of like fit similar friend groups to everybody happening at the same weekend. So everyone's I, out doing shit. I live in England. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A lot of weddings there? Oh. No. Um... <laughs> Not near. All right, so we are um, we are here. Um, <laughs> Gur has smashed everything. Yes. So, uh, what would you all uh, like to to do yeah. at this point? I got that other door I'm going to. I'm not done already, smashing things. Did I already go through all his smash piles? I had a few drinks last week, so I really don't remember anything even less than I used yeah, to. Yeah, uh, there's there there's nothing of 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 import here. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be flat out honest with everybody. The you've you, you've you've all pretty much destroyed and searched through this floor. Um, I'm gonna follow Ger. So I believe uh, last thing I had said uh, was I was actually gonna uh, jog up the stairs. So that's where I'm. Oh yeah, that. I think. That's all right, what so you're jogging Quentin up the stairs. Well, I think me, Quinton, and Gray are all going up together. You're all going up there. You're. Ourselves without waiting for the rest of the party, we're splitting the group. Oh, well, we're, we're not splitting. It's just that where we happen to be in our exploration. So, uh, you know, a uh, uh, meta guys, catch up. <laughs> All right, so um, we'll go ahead and um, and we know what you two are doing, uh, Gray. Yes. Uh, you were kind of in that stairwell. You got surprised by um, <clears throat> uh, the plant. And then I swiped the plant. <laughs> And then you swipe Surprise, the plant once plant. you realized it was a person. So you're kind of standing in that door well, doorway. You see uh, two of your party members start to go up the stairs. Uh, wait for me, please. Uh, oh, do you want to come with us? I mean, <laughs> does a bear poop in the woods? Does a bug bear poop in the woods? And I'm... <laughs> I don't, does it? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are having your nice little conversation about bugbear poop. Uh, let's go over to the actual bugbear. So we've got uh, bugbear. Oh, can't and... do that in the house. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely can't. There's no indoor plumbing in um, bugbear households. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say there are no woods in a bugbear's house. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that is a bugbear's house. Yeah. Um. Uh. So, uh, Gur and Holly Hera. Opening this door. I'm following her. Okie dokie. We're going through the door. We're going through the door. Let's go ahead and give you all. Uh, let's see. Where's my reveal areas? Boom. Are you going to continue to do the bugbear thing? Yeah, that's a lot more furniture. Gotta be safe. The bugbear thing. All right, so yeah, you go ahead uh, and uh, you go into the room and you just start smashing everything uh, left and right. Um, Holly Hera, what are you doing? Um, following behind him, digging through his smash piles, looking for stuff. Uh, go ahead, roll me a uh, investigation check. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is without, without like looking for something specific, you really don't know what exactly you're looking for. All this stuff kind of looks unimportant to you. It's all kind of like, uh, just like papers and books and now bedding and feathers flying everywhere. Cause he's smashing all that stuff. Smash. There's another plant in here, but this one doesn't seem to be alive. Or there's there's really nothing in here. Maybe we should go catch up with the rest of the group. Are you done smashing? Am I done smashing? Uh, yeah, yeah. You you've made quick work. You've got uh, you've got brutish strength. That furniture didn't know what. Uh, <laughs> All right, follow me. What was coming? Run, run, run. I feel satisfied if nothing looks like it can come alive. All right. Well, you uh, you both managed to catch up to the uh, the people the people in the stairwell as they are starting to go up. Uh, Quentin and Holly Hara and uh, Gray, you notice as the bugbear and the druid make their way into the room and notice you all going up the stairs. Hey, do you want to come upstairs with us? Uh, I guess that's where we're going. 
Ooh. We gotta destroy all, right, all the so furniture. Stas <laughs> squad. Let's go. So you all start going up the stairs, and they just keep going around the perimeter of the um, the tower, and you're walking for a while. It seems like, man, this floor, the, this tower doesn't have a lot of floors, just a lot of empty space. Um, you eventually get to the point where you finally see a landing kind of at the top. Um, what is the order? What uh, what order are... Um, are you all walking in? I imagine it's the order that's on screen, which is Q, Nova, Gray, Holly, Hara, Ga. But if okay. if that's different Perfect. from, um, if anyone else thinks that should be different, should we should we change should we switch it up? I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not a fighter. He's a barbarian. Uh, uh, Q, what do you think? Because you're right at the front. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I, I was just rushing up to see uh, to see what was in the next room. So I'm kind of just bullheadedly running into this next room as if I haven't learned anything from from the bottom <laughs> floor. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get the next scene placed here. Sure. Okay, wonderful. So I'm going to go ahead and move you all here and then give you your um, tokens. Boom. Okay. Some tokens. And also set the mood here. So here we've got a little bit of... Let's see. This one works. Actually, no, hold please. Wait one second while I get this set up. Oh. I'll run a 30 second ad to uh, knock out the pre rolls. <laughs> yes. If you end up getting hit with an ad right now, just stick through it. Um, I should have run the uh, early one. But I'm dumb. You're not dumb. Music going. There we go. A little bit of mood. Perfect. Oh, I can hear the music this time. Yay. <laughs> Wonderful. The music's All really right. nice. That means a lot. Okay. We got that. We've got. Where, did, where is everybody's tokens? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Not tokens. We want to do. Joinals. There we go. Uh, so you all can control your people. Control yourselves. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's back. Um, excuse me. Where did... Okay, here we go. Oh. Er's in the back. We've got Quentin. He's in the front. We've got Gray kind of here. We've got... Holly Hera in front of her, and we have Sister Nova. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm huge. Oh, there we go. Um, so that's that. Let me go ahead and get us a nice little. Uh, so you end up in a um a room, a very large room. Somehow feels larger than the room you were in before, which seems physically impossible. But hey, this is a magical wizard's tower. Anything can happen. Uh, you notice five mirrors uh, oh. all around the space. Um, and you all start to feel drawn to these mirrors. In a smashy kind of way? No, not in a smashy kind of way, like in a like a fascination kind of way. Like, what's that shiny over there? Uh, let's see. Uh, Quentin, you start to feel like you're being pulled towards the bottom right mirror. 
Um, All right. Well, is that just something I should know or should I move? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and move close to it while we're getting everybody set up. Um, Sister Nova, you feel pretty drawn to that top one, the one that's kind of by itself. Um, I can't move my piece. Oh no, what have I done? It's okay. Want this. Um, I feel like Sister Nova knows that, like, she's in a magical tower that has been very... That hasn't been hasn't got a lot of research on it, so I feel like she's going to go behind the mirror and try and inspect okay. the mirror All right. to see if she um, can find mm-hmm. anything. Perfect, uh, Gray. Yeah, you start to feel like you're being pulled toward the middle right mirror. I'm going to stand directly in front of it and start ooing and eyeing at my sexy, sexy bot. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. Holly, yeah. um, ha- Holly, Hera, you start to feel like you're being pulled towards the bottom left. Is that making me do something? Yeah, no. Sorry about that. That's loud. It's fucking dreamy, though. So mm-hmm. it's mirror music. Hell yeah! Oh, hey, Hannah, I didn't see you pop in. I've been I've been focusing on the GM stuff. Uh, is it going to be a riddle? Is it going to be a puzzle? I guess we'll find out. Uh, Gur, you start to feel yourself being pulled towards the last remaining uh, mirror there, the one in the middle left. I mean, I do think I look handsome when I'm smashing furniture. So. <laughs> Um, so we are going to start with um, Sister Nova for a moment, and we're going to circle back around to Sister Nova as well. So Sister Nova, you're you're examining the back of the mirror. Um, you definitely feel like there's some sort of magic going on here, um, and from the back side of the mirror, you can't really get a handle on what's going on with it. You don't you you see the rest of your party kind of standing in front of the mirrors they've been kind of drawn to and nothing's really happening to them so you're not sensing any immediate danger i guess sisters was more trying to find any runes on the back of the mirror or any like kind of like in magical instructions or any labeling or anything um got it the um uh the back of the mirror seems pretty worn Um, If there was any writing or instructions or anything on here, it looks like it has been lost to time. The uh, the wood is pretty um, um, worn on the back. Can I cast Uh, Identify on the mirror? uh, You can cast Identify on the mirror. While you're doing that, though, we're going to start going around the uh, the room here. Uh, The... Um, the, uh, next person we're going to get to, we're going to get to, uh, we're not going to do this in any kind of order. We're going to do, uh, let's do good devil. Cause, uh, that, that one, Quentin's seems like it's going to be the most fun. So Quentin, you start feeling yourself being pulled to this magical, uh, mirror, uh, to the front of it. Um, uh. Can I can I roll a perception to see if I can kind of at least slightly get my wits about me and know that I'm somehow being magically drawn? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll, um, roll insight. Insight, he says. You definitely feel that this mirror is exerting some kind of pull on you, but you don't sense any immediate danger. Uh, well, regardless, uh, um, this would be a lot easier if I had already picked my spells. (laughs) Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. 
Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, and uh, I I think I had already decided. Uh, so and also explaining my random button pressing uh, in roll twenty because I can't seem to edit my character sheet currently. Uh, however, uh, one of my new level three uh, uh, spells I have picked uh, is remove curse. I would like to cast it on this mirror. Okay, let's see. Remove curse. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and see the wording. Oh, I think I had it. I could have done that. Oh, yeah, if you link it in chat, that'd be fantastic. Uh, uh, we'll see who gets it first. Uh, ah. All right. Uh... There we go, got it. Uh, 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 we're going to pop, pop, and in. All right. At your touch, all curses affecting one creature or an object end. If the object is a cursed magic item, its curse remains, but the spell breaks its owner's attunement to the object so it can be removed or discarded. Um, all right. So you, um, you, you, oh, so you reach out and touch the mirror. If, is that if, what we're if doing? that's what I have to do to cast this. So you reach out and touch the mirror and at the touch, you see some, you, you are pretty much taken away. Your body is still there, but now your consciousness is somewhere else. Oh. You were, you are seeing okay. you had to touch it i had uh, to boot this new dude yeah well, it happens you know never learn lessons so you um oh ominous yes you um you see an area that is kind of familiar to you seems like the underground rooms that you used to live in when you were a member of the order. Ugh. You see yourself, but it doesn't look like yourself. It looks like someone different, almost. Appearance physically almost identical, but you get a feeling that that's not you. And he's standing there with somebody who looks like a bit of an authority figure. And he walks up to this uh, person who looks like you and puts his hand on his shoulder and goes, Today is the day you decide. Your path laid before you are three, cho are three choices. And he points and he says, Yes, the um, Eldritch Knight, if you follow this path, you will become a fighter of uh, the, the, the best class, fighting the good fight to protect our order. And then he kind of points over to a pile of fist wrappings. He goes, or will you be a monk teaching our initiates the ways of our order. Or, and he uh, kind of motions over towards the um, the last item on the table. And it's a set of thieves tools. And he goes, or perhaps the arcane trickster is where your uh, where your uh, talents will be best suited for. Now, Think hard and long, and this is a choice that will affect you for the rest of your days here in the Order. Now, Quentin, I would like for you to describe to me, describe to us what you see your other self here choosing. Well, uh, I believe... He seems oddly drawn to the the fist wrappings. 
you see as he kind of looks over the um, uh, the uh, plate helmet that he was pointing at to describe the um, Eldritch Knight. And, you know, he fumbles around with that a little bit, looks it over. He looks at the thieves' tools and then settles on these fist wrappings and starts wrapping up his fists. And he goes, ah, yes. I could see the way of the monk inside of you. And then this kind of image kind of fades away and you're standing there in front of the um, the, the mirror. Uh, and you are looking now into the mirror. You're back in your body. And you're seeing this image of this other you. This other monk you. And before your, um, your remove curse can take its effect... Which, by the way, these are magic items, so the curse stays in place. Just the person who created this now is no longer attuned to it. Um, which doesn't really it's it's not gonna it's not gonna affect affect it. So we'll 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 circle back back around. Uh um so we'll do gray. Gray, are you ready? Bring it on. So you feel yourself being pulled towards this mirror. Um, and as you get closer to the mirror, you start to see this um, image of what looks like you. Hey. But it's a little bit of a younger you. And he's in the uh, the house that you all, that you grew up in. The, the royal family's... Uh, um, mansion uh, but you aren't in the room that you grew up in that was locked away you being locked away with bars on the windows and whatnot you are in what you remember from being there just recently you're in the room that uh, was your mother's and you see servants coming into the room and they're bringing you all kinds of snacks and food and drink and you're just sitting there and you're just enjoying yourselves. And then, and then all of a sudden this other you kind of looks at you and makes direct eye contact and then gets up and starts to walk closer to the mirror. Gur. That's me. As you are standing there, uh, admiring your physique. Mm -hmm. The image of yourself starts to trickle away and you see hey. a picture of your home village. Oh. And you see a crowd of people all surrounding a bugbear. And as this image kind of zooms in a little bit, you see who's at the center of that and it's you but all of these people aren't angry they're happy they're cheering and they're cheering this bugbear on they're filling his heart with all of this joy and and there's no unhappiness there's no sadness and all of a sudden they start to pick him up and put him on their shoulders and they're all cheering as if he has done something Wonderful. Like, it's my village. <laughs> Let's go to Holly Hera. Holly Hera, you start to feel yourself being pulled towards the uh, the mirror. And as you get there, you see a building. And you know this building very, very well. It's your home, your family home. Do you want to describe your family home? You're muted. You're still muted. There you go. I fixed it. Just a very small, modest home. Not like a, like a hut, but, you know, it's just my parents and I. So very small, um, 
walls seem to be made of some kind of like stone, like a clay stone. Um, one story. There's a mm-hmm. you. Okay, uh, you notice um, there's an addition onto the house. Um, and it was an addition that your parents were working on when you left home. Uh, it's completed. You know they completed it while you were away. You see someone burst out of the front door, covered in blood. The figure that you see starts racing towards where the perspective of the mirror is. You get a very good look. It's you. Now, circle back around to Sister Nova, like I said we were going to. Um, Sister Nova, you notice that your um, your adventuring party, the members of it, are all now looking in their uh, their perspective mirrors, and while you you are aware that there's a magic going on here. Um, the pull that it has on you is starting to get a little stronger. I want you to roll. Hmm. What was the result of my identify spell that I? Oh, cast? that's right. You cast. You cast identify. So, um, let's see. So you you um, you cast the identify spell on it, and all of a sudden, this information um, is starting to rush into your mind. Uh, these are no ordinary mirrors, obviously. Um, the magic spell in question used on this is not something that you've ever been introduced to. It's something very, very familiar. It feels old, like an old magic lost to time. Um, and it feels very, very powerful. Um... As um, as you are looking at the back of it, the mirror starts to rotate. Uh, does Sister Nova feel as though there is information that can be acquired from looking in the mirror? Um, you uh, you feel that there's something going on in the in the pictures of the mirror because you can see. Uh, a mixture of emotions on everybody's face. You can see, um, you can see the pic, the 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 face of Gray go from surprise to intrigue to confusion. You see Quentin attempt to break a curse on a, the magical item uh, and instead get pulled closer to it. You've watched um, Holly Hera just jaw agape staring at this at this mirror and Gerd just it's hard to, to to gauge what he's seeing in it but you are you are noticing that they're all seeing something that is I think Sister Nova meets the mirror halfway okay so as the mirror starts rotating you start looking into the mirror and you see you but you're not dressed in the revelry of the Church of Midnight. You're not wearing your paladin um, uh, uh, armor. Uh, you are dressed in some um, some very tattered leather, just leather greaves and uh, chest plate, and your hair is like matted and messy, and. Uh, you have uh, a, a bag, and it looks like you're leaving um, a very wealthy building in the dead of the night with this bag over your shoulder. And you're running as fast as you can until this Sister Nova's eyes meet with yours. I would like everybody to roll me a wisdom saving throw.
Oh, I want to know who's going to be the one who I want. I want to know who's going to be the one that does it. It's Gur. It's always Gur. <laughs> I'll roll. Um, I'll roll. I'll roll Washies. I'll roll uh, 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 Grays here for him until he gets back. Let's see that. Or what did I say? Wisdom. Uh, I got a fifteen. Okay, so um, Gur. Mm -hmm. Um, everybody is get getting this urge. To touch the mirror. Everybody is getting that feeling. Um, Quentin has already touched the mirror. His hand is already on the glass. Um, but Gur is face to face with this other version of himself and he reaches out and touches the glass. And all of a sudden, this energy reaches out from that mirror to the other two mirrors next to it and from those two mirrors to the other two mirrors and all of a sudden it forms this chain of energy around and all of the glass shatters. I didn't know it wasn't me. I think it was the other girl. takes a big step back. Well, before anyone gets a chance to uh, react to this happening. Well, actually, yeah, if everyone wants to take a like, uh, like if anyone wants to take a step back or a, a small little action, y'all get this one before it happens. Before it happens. Just the other can I pocket <laughs> a piece of um, broken glass from the mirror? Um, hold that thought. Okay. Oh. So what happened? Um, everybody touched the mirror. Well, not everybody touched the mirror. Gray touched the mirror. Uh, no, sorry. Yeah. Quentin touched the mirror and, um, Gur. Gur touched the mirror. It started something that, uh, connected all the mirrors and then all the mirrors shattered. So oh, standing, standing in their place. Oh, Wait, so what do we have to roll in order to not touch the mirror? Sorry, baby. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay. Who failed it? Was it Gur? Yeah, girl. Yep. Yeah, I love it when it fits <laughs> the other girl. When it fits the character so well. Am I the fifteen? Uh, yes, okay. I rolled for you since you were away. Thank you. Like that uh, this mirror explodes. This is all happening pretty much at the same time. We're gonna have to fight ourselves. What? 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 What makes you think that? Because there's two sister novas. Yeah. No, there's not two sister Novas. Stop. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. God. No, I'm totally gonna what you... kick I'm my ass. I'm so excited for this. This gives me Dragon Ball no. busted. No. No. <laughs> that must hurt. And some of these are you, you, some of these would be very different. So enjoy. What the... I'm really, really excited that we're hitting each other. <laughs> Does it, can we just? I'm gonna. This is not game related. Did anybody here ever play Tekken? Yeah, you know, Tekken Tag was my my my, my ish yeah, back in the day. Shit. Do you guys remember before Tekken Tag when you couldn't tag people in and it was just like that one character that you had to play with and you picked martial law and then someone else picked martial law and like it was just like canceling out spin kicks like forever. You mean you mean Eddie Gordo? Or, no, Eddie Gordo had the. Um, he was like the um, not Croft McGraw, but. You know the the cool dance. capoeira. Yeah, capybara. He had that. He had that. not capybara. What did I say? That's a that's an animal. That, you said capybara. What what is it? Capoeira. Ponytail. Those are still the same thing. Uh, I can't. I literally can't discern the difference. I know you said a different thing, but to me, it's the same. You said capybara as an animal. I would like everybody anyway. to roll initiative. <laughs> Fuck you, initiative. Finally, I didn't roll like a fucking two. Okay, I need to do this. <clears throat> nice 20 on your Anish. Yeah, no, it's because that means I just wasted my high roll for the entire battle on the Anish. <clears throat> no, no, no. Hannah Indiana, that is correct. Capybara, cute, filthy animal. Oh, and what, what, what's the martial arts martial art called? Capoeira. Yeah. I feel like I'm. I gotta look. I gotta like see it because I'm hearing the same thing. There's no B. 
Yeah, I didn't, um, uh, uh, Bruce Gaskin, I didn't have time to put little mustaches on the, um, uh, on the characters, so. Yeah. Wrote it. It's a ah, Inspector. Gur, Holly, um, oh, Kupawara? Quentin. See, we're gonna drop that. No, not even. So it's the spelling. I don't know. Fucking. Nova. <clears throat> oh, I know. David. All right, and let's go ahead and. Okay. I wrote. <sighs> First person to act is going to be. Gers. Doppelganger. And the baddies are the ones with the little X's on them. Correct. So that way you can keep um uh you you all can figure out what um what's going on. Now I will say there is a gimmick to this fight. Of course there is. Oh, you don't that, say. <laughs> well, you, you the gimmick may, you may think the gimmick is fighting yourselves, but there's another gimmick. Okay, anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh so well, you know who yourself is, Gerb, but you don't know who the standing other before, are. Standing before you is this uh, bugbear. Now, he is the same size as you, but he seems to be standing just a little bit taller. He's got a little bit more confidence. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and swing to hit. And oh. his hit does ring true. And he's going to hit you with this maul. What if I use Lucky to make him re-roll? Does Lucky work on other people's rolls? On the attack against me, yes. Absolutely, then. I'll go ahead and re-roll, then. Just barely misses now. Uh, so he goes to swing down on um, your... Um, mm. swing, swing down on yourself. And uh, just barely misses. That's going to bring us to Gur. Gur Prime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to swing back. Actually, I'm going to rage first. Okay. I don't like seeing other Gurs. <laughs> other Gur make Gur angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I do think I have extra attacks now. Or an extra attack. You do. I'll use inspiration um, on my first one. You use inspiration on the first one? Yeah. All right. So the first attack hits. And you swing down on this version of yourself. And it shatters into a million pieces, leaving on the floor this pile of glass. Weird. Now, um, you can break this up. Since you've used the one attack, you can still now use your move and then use your second attack if you want. I'll be that GM that allows you to do cool stuff. I think Gur is just going to be confused at this point and not know what the hell to do. Okay. That is a fair thing to do. Uh, let's see. Next is... Let's see, this is X. Uh, we are going to go with Quentin X. Quentin X, it is his turn. And let's let's see what he's going to do. So he is going to. Dun, 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 dun. He is going to swing at you. That is going to be a hit. Eight damage. This is bludgeoning. And he is going to swing again. This one misses. Um... You see that this Quentin is slightly different than you. He's not, uh, 
he doesn't have this eldritch energy behind him. You see a whirlwind of just pureness around him. And he is like the, the, the punches that he is delivering you. The first one hit hard. It hurt. Um, the second one, he just miscalculated and missed just a little bit. And he is going to circle around you. He's actually going to circle around you on the backside. That's going to bring up Holly Hera. The real one or the X one? Prime. <laughs> um, I think I want to witch bolt her ass. Um, come on, little computer. Goodness gracious, hold on. Which, which bowl? Yeah, hold on. It's, I, it gives me a pop-up to ask me what level I want to cast it at, and it's not working. Hold on one more second. There we go. Ooh, 24. Um, the uh, energy, this uh, lightning energy comes straight out of your hand and um, envelops the um, other version of yourself. And it, uh, you could start seeing um, her body start to crack and this light kind of explode from out of it. And then she just shatters into a million pieces on the floor. Kind of... Um stumble backward a bit. A lot. All right. And that would have been um, Holly X. Um, So you see this, um, you see um, that pile of mirror the broken glass and whatnot that's on the ground that was yourself start to kind of come back together and you could start to see this doppelganger of yourself slowly start to form back up and boom standing right where it was um it stands there doesn't take any other action uh quentin prime what's up your turn all right uh, well, I'm going to rotate uh, to this side of the imposter. And, you know, let's act like we don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, and um, <laughs> b- b- before I do so... Proctologist. Gonna, uh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> I might have to change my action. Uh, however, uh, before, I, before I do, I'm just going to scream at him, You coward! I... I missed the button. Yeah. Oh, uh, good time to use my inspiration, Diamond. Everybody's <laughs> getting high numbers. I thought this was going to be a little tougher. All right. Um, you hi blast this thing into a billion freaking pieces, and the dust just starts to rain down in front of you. But I add it's uh, blasted into the wall. Um... It, it there was there's there was nothing to be blasted into the wall. There it's literally just no, all of no them. knockback. I mean, uh, he went high. Yeah, he should go that way. Well, or or what remains should go that way. No. Uh. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> they go that way. Um. Let's see, and that would be next. Uh. Nova X is going to go now. And Nova X is going to come over here to you and you're going to see um you're going to see her whip out two daggers and she's spinning them in her hands and she just lunges at you and goes to um come down at you. Oh wait, her. I think I have something. I think I have something. Ooh, you've got, you have a reaction you can take for this? Yeah, Sentinel. Um, when a creature comes within five feet of me, I get an opportunity attack. 
Absolutely. Go ahead. Take that opportunity to attack. All right. Uh, no, you're good. Uh, Blast them. Damn. Oh, wow. So as um, it's a good thing you did that, too, because um, uh, uh, she crit. So uh, she comes down with these two daggers and she lunges forward, jumping in the air. And you take out your short sword and just in one fell swoop, swipe across. And as soon as the short sword makes uh, uh, contact with this entity, it turns into this pile of glass that just starts to rain down in front of you. Can I put my hand out and, like, try and examine some of the glass? Or is that something I'll have to wait for my turn for? Uh, you will have to wait for your turn for that. Okay. Um, but I will say, because you used the re- re- reaction there, you, you, you can try to get some in your hand if you want now. You just can't do anything with it yet. So, if I may, in my head canon, I just imagine Sister Nova being ready with her, uh, you know, hand on her blade and just going shing, like uh, straight out of an anime and destroying. Uh, you see, you see the, the the sword comes out of its sheath for like like just a centimeter and goes right back in. <laughs> Is there any, any Yasha like in the way? Because like the amount of shatter you point. can do with the sword must make it giant. You know, like it feels it feels real good. Yeah. Hey, Inuyasha's good. But Yu Yu Hakusho, that's where it's at. Uh, anyway. True. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that happened. Um, Gray, it's your turn. Oh, shit. Okay, so the, the mini-me is not going first. Um, I'm going to cast a Thunder Wave. You would. Well, listen, I had a lot of options. <laughs> here, I was doing a lot of research, and I was thinking... I can do a lot of different things. Hold on, this not. It didn't actually cast. Uh, I have to click on the spell itself. Um, I don't need to take you guys through my inner thoughts. Here we go. You don't, you don't need to know what I'm doing. Yeah, you don't need to know what I was thinking every step of the way for the last thirty minutes, which is what I was about to tell y'all. Here we go. All right, you cast Thunderwave, and it seems to have no effect. Well, then I'll use my remaining bonus action to run away. <laughs> a bold and effective strategy. Uh, actually, I'm going to run. Um, as you are running this away, is- as as you are running away, uh, this entity's quarterstaff comes down and clocks you for um, eight points of damage. Great. <laughs> just great. X-ray <laughs> just said bonk. Um, Nova, uh, Sister Nova, it is your turn. Is, um, other, is the other sister fully formed yet? No. Is she free forming? Nope. Damn, I really wanted to ask some questions. Um. Uh, go ahead and roll a free insight check. Um. While the magic spell was, uh, when you cast Identify, seemed so unfamiliar, uh, you remember reading about, um... Wait! A... F- what? What? Sorry. Wait, what? Sorry. Nope. Okay. I'm, I'm um, supposed to be in my head. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you recall reading about something in passing, uh, about, um, a magic that, um, caused, uh, like duplicates of people to be created um, in this manner. Um, and what you remember from that reading, uh, basically, because all of these mirrors were linked, all of them must be down for them all to be defeated. If one of them has a turn... And they are defeated, and there is still one standing strong. They will reconstitute themselves. Right. Okay. So, which mirrors are down? It's 
Uh, sure. Let me go ahead and give the good old uh, the good old X on the ones that are down here for you. So we've got that one's down currently. That one's down currently. And that one's down currently. You know, I had a bet with myself to which one of you would figure the battle out first. And I won. <laughs> I won. I won my own bet. <laughs> yeah. I think Sisno immediately, upon this realization, whips around and takes, um, and casts magic missile on the clone of like Gray. Okay. Um, like just all of the darts going for. Um, I will tell you right now. Do them one at a time. Oh, okay. I already rolled. But I can, um... I, 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 um I'll just do it one at a time. Gotcha, so that's the that's the one. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so, um... What I'm gonna need from you, from each one of these, is, um... A, um... What's your, um, what's your character's, um, spell casting trait? What is that? Is it's that charisma. Or, is it, charisma? I would like you to do me a charisma, a charisma, um, throw Saving and throw add your, prof or just a normal throw, just a normal throw and add your proficiency. Um, my proficiency right, so is, um, three. Three. Everybody's prof I was to say everybody's proficient. Can I use my three. inspiration to um, make that a sixteen? Um, because I didn't. I that was just a raw throw. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give this to you. Don't do that. Um, okay. <laughs> and I'll explain. I'll explain later. So this shot of this magic missile goes straight through the doppelganger and emerges on the other side. And smashes into the wall. Now you have three more magic missiles. And before each one of them that you throw, I would like the same charisma throw plus your um, proficiency. Okay. Um... I know I'm making this overly complicated, but I will explain. Uh, there's a method to my madness, everybody. Perfect. So this one, this one finds its target and it smashes into a thousand pieces. Okay. Leaving one left. I guess I, I'm, I think, am I too far away from the one of Holly Harrow? Um, I have magic missiles like 120 feet. No, you're good. You're good. Cool. I, I, I shoot the last one for the one of Holly Harrow. All right, let's see it. Uh, fuck yeah. Boom, yeah, okay. It slams into it, crumbling it to dust, and you all see this steam of magical energy kind of rise up from these piles and leave the room. Um, Wow, that took less time than the damn um, mimic fight. I really thought this battle was going to take up the entire um, stream. <laughs> oh, I hope you played ahead. Yeah. Well, you should know <laughs> by now that we never do what you want us to do. I'm really sorry. No, don't apologize. <laughs> so, Let's go back to the barracks. Let's go back to the barracks. I, I do want to find an instance to where, you know, we do something and we get to see uh, Dungeon Daddy just pick up a piece of paper and rip it up in front of us. That's what I want. <laughs> that would be terrible. Oh! No. So, um... <laughs> the, um... The gimmick of that fight, if anyone had noticed, um... Every single one of those, um, entities, their ACs, I set them at 21. So I set them at deliberately, ridiculously hard to hit. <laughs> and they all had one HP. Ah. So the the concept of it, they're all made of glass. Um, 
Uh, I really, I honestly thought, one, I thought we'd get through one whole round of combat before anyone realized what was going on. <laughs> and, and two, I really expected, I really expected at least three people to attack before anyone actually hit one of them. I was like, 21 is the AC. Nobody's going to hit that right off the bat. What does Gur do? First thing he does, Check swings the hammer smash. down. <laughs> Gur smash. Yeah. Gur smash. <laughs> um, I also I also told um, myself that anyone using a spell that required a saving throw, if the entity passed the saving throw, the spell took no effect. And if it was a spell that automatically just does damage, that the character would have to make a spell attack roll, um, which is why I was making you do those charisma throws. Um, so, yeah, you... Uh, <laughs> You all should be really thankful that y'all have a real D and D player here playing with you all. <laughs> Thank you, Tavy. So, um, so uh, Jen Washitashi, it wasn't that magic wasn't working. It was that that spell in that particular instance didn't work. Had you tried Thunder Wave again, it might have worked. You're, you're muted. Mute. I think you're. I think you're muted. You're muted, Bibu. I noticed. I noticed. I remembered that Q hit a hit a haya that like destroyed. So like, <clears throat> you know, it took me a minute. But what I, you know, I'm I'm fucking impulsive. Shut up. <laughs> hey, we got an XP boost for uh for Sister Nova. Just in case you don't know, if you're new to the stream, on Wednesdays in D and D, we do um what is called uh, milestone leveling. So I don't award XP for things. Uh, but if you feel so inclined to give a little boost to these characters, I keep track of that. Certain number of boosts equate to certain number of bonuses when they level up. Like, some of our characters got bonus spells that they got to pick when they leveled up. Certain people got extra skills that they could become proficient in. And everybody got full health um, with their maximum health increase instead of rolling for it. So uh, those are just kind of the benefits that you give the players when you do these um, XP boosts. Um, so, yep, I have a new XP boost tracker right here. Well, As you can yeah. see, my wonderful handwriting. Yeah. Um. Uh, so. Try it again, Alice. I just had to uh, re-enable everything. I think Sistanova is feeling very like conflicted that like everyone else's double ganger seemed to like except for the exception of Holly Harrow seemed to make sense whereas hers was like it seemed like a common thief he seemed like a criminal and was very like ragged well and that's that's another thing too like you you all are unaware of what each other saw in um, your mirrors, but um, I will allow this time. Here's your um, here's your all's a uh, uh, moment of um, uh, role play. So here, so we're just gonna drop you all here after this weird freaking battle, and I'm gonna let you guys uh, play around a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. That guy was a piece of shit. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 God, no, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go sit in that corner. Why was your guy a piece of shit? Looks more like pieces. <laughs> oh, it's the. Uh, um, what do you think that was? Do you think that was like a reflection of our inner selves? Do you think that was like a, a different life? Like, what, what do you think that was? Anyone? Holly's just shaking her head. She's still in a little bit of shock from what she saw. Did did anyone want to want to talk about what they saw? I I, I really don't. I did. <laughs> it's, did anybody else see mine? I don't think I saw yours, but did anyone see mine? No. I mean, I didn't. I can't speak for everybody else. I, I, I didn't see mine either. They were, they were us, right? 
right? No, um, there's 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 nope. no way that that couldn't have been me. That I'm gonna me. rush to, rushing to the center of the room. Ah, it seems to me it's uh, the versions of us that made the wrong fucking decisions. Or maybe the right decisions, because, like, look where the fuck we are. Shut the fuck up, Gray, and I'm going to hide out one of the no, but, Wait, but is, is, that, is that, like, an alternative timeline? But no, there's mine... no way. I No matter what timeline, I never would have done that. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I, I, I just, I just, I mean, I agree. Wait, I you... just... Hold on. Uh, Sister Nova, you seem to be convinced of, like, one narrative, and... Holly Harris convinced of a completely different narrative, and I, I think maybe there's conflicting information happening. Like, what did you observe, sister? Can you talk to us in detail about what you observed, and then I'll ask for Holly's. Uh, well, I saw a version of myself that was unfamiliar to me. How, in what way? How? Um, she was very raggedy she had like really like short hair that kind of just wasn't brushed and like she was wearing like a very torn very torn leather was running away with stolen items from a manor house oh, okay. and so, so and like, like like a thief like a back yeah back. and then when she came out the mirror she was just attacking me with daggers like, she didn't even, like, question or attempt diplomacy. She attacked me, like... You're right, that's nothing like you at all. Holly Hera, you also experienced something like that? Um, no, no, there was, there was just blood. What? What do you mean, just blood? Were, were you even in your vision, what? or...? Were you fighting blood? I fought me. Did you fight blood? I, I mean, yeah, it looked like me, but there was, there was, there was so much blood. Did, did you kill someone in your vision? Uh, um, or no, was, no. Did someone die? Like, what, what did you see, Holly? I don't, Aaron? I don't know. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in a bit of shock. I'm, I'm in shock. Right. It's okay to not know. It's okay. I just that, that explains your response. I just, who, I'm sorry. who else like, would like to share? What did you see, Gray? I saw me. Only I was just vibing where my mama was. Like I was vibing, and the servants were bringing me shit. I wasn't in that weird cage. Like I was. It was like me, but like you know, me if things had gone right. Like me if the king wasn't a king. You know what I'm saying? Like me if. I mean, I don't even really know if he's a king. But that guy, if he was, like, not a piece of shit. That's, it was me, but, like, not me. Does that make any sense? That kind of makes me believe my theory more about alternative timelines, but... Well, this is, this is a... This is, hold on. Aren't we in, like, a, a master of time, like, sorcerers or wizards, like... Well, I, I believe... Tower? My Isn't current really theory that? is that this is a chronomancy tower. <gasps> Okay, yeah, it's a timeline di uh, diversion of us. It's a uh, ganger, right? But for some of that, that just it. doesn't make sense because if Holly Hara master. clearly saw something horrific. Well, listen, I'll, and I'll I saw something impossible. Lost. No, I, I think under the right circumstances, Holly Hara. Well, who, whose blood was it? I mean, we don't know because you can't remember. I didn't. That I. Holly Harry, you know, you you know whose blood it was. I'm in um, denial. Right. So the point is, I think the I think the timeline's a really great theory, and I think what we need to do next is to further ourselves in this tower to find more information because every step of the way we have a new encounter, we have something that's more challenging, but we learn something else, so we should move forward. That? I'm looking for mom. I need to find mom. Where is mom? Oddly, why is it She's you? dead, Gray. They're all dead. You killed them, and you're covered in blood. You're out of your you're out of your mind right now. Okay. Some, listen, hold on. I got I got exactly what you need, and I throw my sack of endless 
endless like <laughs> libations. Didn't over you shoulder, take the spell the calm floor, emotions? <laughs> listen, and <laughs> our best friend in the whole world pops out and he says, I kind of like the translation is what? What would you like from my bar of magic? And he's just singing like a cute little like song, giving you drinks. I close the sack. I'm like, no, we probably shouldn't drink right now. Okay, I feel like Sniffler would have a very extreme reaction to you closing his house. Uh, upon hearing that very poor uh, suggestion from Sister Nova, I'm going to rush over to uh, to Gray and uh, and Sniffler and be like, the strongest thing you got down there, Sniff. No, Q, Q, wow, Q, 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 tell me, tell me what you saw before you get anything, okay? You told it was a guy that looked like me. It wasn't me. It shouldn't be me. But it is me, and it, uh, that, no, it's that. Uh, and I go back on my expletive. While he's like, screaming at um, Sister Nova, I, I, I go to the bag and I get a drink from Sniffler. Um, Sniff, Sniffler's rummaging around, and he's down there for a, for a few seconds, and he pops up with this tiny little bottle, and it has, like, a skull and crossbones on it. And ah. he walks over. He walk. He waddles over to um, uh, Quentin and goes, "Wham, wham, wham, wham!" And then he pulls out this little eyedropper, and then go, like motions down, like "Wham, wham." Yep. And then he drops this one drop onto your tongue, and you just see, tss, and then smoke pops up in the shape of a skull and crossbone Ooh. into the sky. Hey, Ooh. would you give him the the Scoville, like the uh, the death I, juice? Would you guys? Give- <laughs> I can- I can smell colors. <laughs> Sniffler, what's in this stuff? Good uh, job, buddy. I... Oh, I think we need to figure out what that was. Because I think we all saw something hmm. very concerning. What that was was a little bit of magic. Ah. Oh, wait, are we <laughs> talking about the same thing? No. Oh. Quentin. <sighs> you all start to hear something coming from a few floors above you. Wasn't me. Can't really place what it is, but it sounds like some sort of commotion going on. Okay, Sister Nova's fucking running. <laughs> Up the stairs? Yeah. She's like on high alert. Perfect. She's like uh, fully you, panicked. Gotcha. Do you get to the top of the stairs? Uh, yeah. I mean, it seems like of- everyone here is doing acid, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> at the um at the top of the stairs there's a door. I um put my ear up against is I put my ear up against the door. Gotcha. The commotion that was happening before, you can't hear it anymore. There's not there's nothing coming from the door anymore. Is there a keyhole? Whatever. Hole? There is no keyhole. It just uh, looks like a normal door. Uh, I guess Sister Nova just opens the door then. As you go to turn the handle, all of the stairs kind of fold down and create a um a slide ramp and you slide all the way back down to the bottom. Can I do a saving throw for that to see if I can ha- hang on to the handle? Like an acrobatics uh, thing? Sure, yeah, go for it. Oh. Yeah, you um you try to hold on to the door. Um, but this thing just caught you by complete surprise and just the ground from under your feet just goes whoop and you slide down. Um, and the, um, the stairs do not appear to be coming back. They seem to be staying as a slide here. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Is it like a, like a slope or is it like a full like slide slide? It's, it's like a, it's like a pretty, pretty steep slope. Uh, can like, like, (laughs) Uh, you, uh, you can try to, like, climb up it, but, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's going to be a very, very high DC, uh, for that. Is that gonna be acrobatics? Um, I'm gonna say it's, uh, I'll take either acrobatics or athletics. Acrobatics Whichever one's the better one for you. Can I use, um, my inspiration? Sure. Fuck yeah. Natural 20. Uh, now you are, uh, you are able to start like, like 
climbing up this slope, but you get to the top and the door handle will not budge now. Like when you went to go open it, you felt the tor the, the the handle turn right before the stairs slid out from under you. But now it feels like the door is locked, but there is no keyhole or anything. Is the door made of wood? The door is made of steel. Correct. And um, I'm going to ask for a dexterity um, saving throw to see if you can maintain your footing up here. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, you, you, you feel yourself starting to slip a little bit, but you feel like you could, you could hang up here for a few more moments. Um, now we'll go around to the rest of the crew and see if uh, you, you all see this happening right here. Is there anything anyone would like to try? Yeah. If only one of us could fly to assist another one. I can't fly yet, but oh. thinking if I could become something like sticky, you know? Like a frog? But how would that help you? Well, you could climb on a, up on a the steel wall. door. Oh, you could become a spider and slide under the gap in the door and see if there's a way to unlock it from the other side. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that. Um, let me take my wild shape here. Uh, And, oh, that's small. I'm going to climb up the side. Okay. And try to squeeze under the door. You try as you might, there is very, very, very little space between the door and the floor. Um, I like the sides and the hinges at the top. It's all pretty tight. Now, as you're actually looking, you can see the scrape marks where the door has opened and closed. Um, it's pretty flush. Nothing, nowhere that silly. Mm. I turn back into myself and mm. say bye and slide down the slide. Yeah, mm. I can't get in there. Um. Um. Hmm. I don't really know what to do now. Because I'm kind of dangling from this door handle. <laughs> I'm waiting for one more person to take some sort of action to make you roll another dexterity. So, save. Uh, so uh, um, can I roll an investigation check just to. Like, see if I notice Please. any out of uh, out of place features, like you know the discolored Please. stone that opens a box. Please, by all means, go ahead and roll roll me an inspiration uh, check. Investigation. Investigation is what I meant to say. Yeah. I don't know. So um, how far up is she from the floor that we're at? Uh. About this far. I want to say, let's say it's about. Like, is it a full flight of stairs? Oh, it's a full. It's a full flight. It's a full flight. I'd say. Uh, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no more than. I don't know how high is a flight. Three style. meters, four meters, maybe. So, uh, sister Noah is dangling it's from up. the door handle. Is that? Yeah. And the door's open. Well, she's 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 got her feet on the f on the ground, uh, but it's sloped at a very very high angle. Um, as Quentin is doing his investigation check, I would like uh, Sister Nova to give me another dexterity. I have save. an idea that I'd like to try. I. All right. If you want to if you want to try an idea, let me do the in the investigation check first. Okay. Um. So you are looking around at the base of the stairs there and you notice along the um, along the outer wall of the stairwell there 
there does seem to be a slightly discolored uh, uh, stone there that seems like it's a little out of place. Do I have to wait to take an action or? Uh, if you if you would like to act upon that right okay. now, uh, in which case I'm uh, like, and I'm starting to get wary of touching things in in, in this in this castle. But uh, uh, Q ain't no bitch, Yolo. Uh, he's gonna just uh, tap that discolored block with his foot, try to push it in. Gotcha. You uh, you apply a little bit of force, and you feel the stone just give way, and it impresses into the uh, recesses into the wall there. And you notice the stairs boonk, pop back out. Great. Uh, so now you don't have to roll that um, dexterity save. <laughs> I, uh, I shout, thank you. And um, I try and um, cast smite I... on the door hinge, on, on the hinges of the door. Okay. But um is there anything el- anything anyone else wants to try? Oh, I just want to add to the thank you. I just wanted to respond. I got you, sis. Oh, thank you. Uh... Who would have known the stairway would be the thing that beat you all? Oh no. Uh Oh, let's smash them. Oh, hell yeah. My smite critted. Yeah, it did. So you, you you swing down with your short sword with the power of the gods on your side and just this massive explosion of smite rings out um, and you see the door has now this kind of like dark scorch mark on it. But besides that, it doesn't look like really anything has happened. Actually, I'm going to roll to see if that smite had any effect on the doorknob itself. Oh, yeah. So that smite rattled the doorknob enough to trigger the um, stairs again. So the stairs slide out um, from under you and if you would like to make your athletics um, uh, or acrobatics check to see if you can hold on to the doorknob I'll give you that opportunity again nope this you you were just bonk oh, right on down oh and after all that effort I did doing this and I pr- uh, I, I uh, pressed the um, the stone again to get the stairs back and they Pop right back yes, up. Yes, that was so much effort on your behalf. <laughs> I know. I mean, what an are, agonizing like, amount of effort. Uh, uh, well well yeah, done. Okay. You get a gold star. Well, I gotta tell you, you're making this look a lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna come up. Uh, I don't think I've even seen you jump ever, let alone run. You. you... He only runs if he's running towards killing day. <laughs> Which there's a whole crowd behind this door begging. So, when you described uh, 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 Howie looking under or, or attempting to crawl under the door, you said it was pretty flush. Is there any light visible? None. Frick. I, I see. Where, I see. I see the misty uh-huh. step. It's it, worked it, before. Thought process. It has worked before. Mm-hmm. Wait, there were windows. To the walls. What? There uh, are windows. We could scale the outside of the tower. And I did, uh, uh, in, might I mention earlier in my little fit of rage, I did Eldrick Blast. Uh, and if you want me to point out a specific window. I It's the window you were standing in front of running back and forth along uh, the Fs. Yeah, okay. I know. Cool. I think Sister Nova's going to go to the window and lean out to kind of see where we are. Uh, it would be... Just so you know, the uh, the blue circled window is the one that's been busted out. Oh, okay. All right, while you are looking out, does anyone else uh, wish to do anything? Uh, 
Quentin, you are up the stairs. Uh, Holly Harrow is just about to say something, please. Uh, when uh, Q, when you did an investigation, did you look all the way around everything or just next to the stairs? Uh, I intended as uh, all the way around. I don't know how uh, Dungeon Daddy took it. Well, you invested. There's really not a whole lot going on in this. It was pretty big and empty and open. Um, yeah, the only places that you didn't investigate was the stairwell going down because there's a wall there, obviously. Um, oh. And um, and a uh, and up here because you couldn't get up here to investigate. Well, I suppose on that note, since I'm up here, and sorry to cut you off there, Hallie. Um, I guess I'll roll another investigation check. We're going to check this wall next to the door. Uh... Hey, you notice a small stone that looks about the same discoloration as the one down at the base of the steps. Um, Hey, guys. It's along the wall. Like, if, if you're looking at the door like this, it's on the wall right next to the door. Oh, hey. I think I. Uh, uh, this reminds me of a uh, of a game c- someone keeps uh, bugging me to play, and I'm gonna uh, to pr- uh, press in that button or you know discolored stuff. All right, you you press in the button. You hear a click. The button comes back out. What do you do? I'm gonna try turning the doorknob. You try to turn the doorknob, and the stairs and slide under uh, slide so down. Dex throw to see if I can stay out there, right? Uh, athletics or uh, acrobatics, athletic whichever athletic one's higher for you. It's definitely gonna be athletics. Uh, yeah, you're holding on to the uh, doorknob. So, uh, and I uh, only wanted to do that, uh, so I could do this. Uh, I am going to, with my free hand, take my uh, 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 uh yeah, with my free hand, I'm gonna retrieve the uh, the jug of endless water. Uh, uh, hold it over top of my head, say fountain, and uh, water slide down. Of course, why not? So, what if see, we have to hit uh, that button while the stairs are a slide? Well, we know how to get back up there. <laughs> <laughs> but for right now, I'm going to have some fun. We down the water slide. <laughs> you guys got to try this. This is wonderful. <laughs> um, anyone else doing anything? Can I attempt to take? Um, wait a minute. How many javelins do I have? I have uh, four. Can I stick them into the wall and kind of create like handles to kind of go up? Oh wow, it's actually really clever. Um, yeah. Well, g- give me a give me a strength check. You, uh, yeah. Real quick, uh, Gerd, uh, you could always just Shh. press yeah. the button and go yeah. up the stairs. Push the button to make stairs. No. But you know, uh, for like, if you want to reinforce, you know. And I also have an immovable rod that I can do if I need more. You could literally, like, make the immovable rod, like, you could push the button on the immovable rod and just stand on it. It will support your weight, and it won't move. Yeah, but I gotta go to the that's top very, first. You, uh-huh, yeah. That's a very, very clever use of the immovable rod. Did you use your inspiration already? No. I mean, yes, yes, I did. Give yourself inspiration. I really like that use of the um, immovable rod. Um, so yeah, you're you're able to um, stake some um, uh, javelins into the wall to make it a little bit easier to get up when it's a slide. Um, did you want to use the immovable immovable rod at the um, top of it? Yeah. You place the immovable rod down. You push the button, and now you have like this thin little platform that you can stand on. Uh, and you are standing there by the door. And the door doesn't open. Correct. Uh, you could try to open the door, um, and it won't do anything now because the um, the stairs are already a slide. So on that note, uh, since he's made it up there, uh, I'm gonna 
press the button that's been restoring the stairs. Okay. Hey, Gur, since you got that rod uh, to stand on up there, how about we do this? Uh, press and hold that button in, and I'm going to try to do the same thing down here. Okay. All right. All right, so you both press and hold these buttons, and you hear a click. Uh, so, uh, so just to confirm, the stairs have not um, given way. Uh, Correct. so, hey, and I'm gonna turn to the rest of the crew. Hey, guys, I'm, uh, me, and, me and Gur are gonna keep holding these buttons, and anyone wanna give the doorknob a try again? Um, I, I can... It. Well, Gur, ha- Gur has another oh, hand. I Good. I do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't <laughs> trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, tax, uh, our, our Gur too much. You know, two things at once is a, is a big deal. This is very true. Do you think you could do it? Gur, can you hold the button in and try to open the door at the same time? Yeah, uh, yes. Because you seem unsure about it, um, Gur, I want you to roll me a... What do you guys think? Wisdom or intelligence? Oh, neither of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, honestly, I don't think it's... Either. I think it's just dexterity for sure. He has to yeah. do... Two things at one time. You don't have to be to, too like, smart to do okay. this. Okay, go ahead and roll, roll, roll me, roll me dexterity because you seem you seem ah. unsure. <laughs> you go, you go to tried, to sure. grab I the tried. handle, <laughs> but you go to grab the handle with the hand that was pushing in the button, and you turn the doorknob, and the stairs become a slide again. However, ah. as I'm still holding in the bottom button, do they immediately restore? No. All right. Well, then I'm gonna let go and press them. Uh, press. And then, boom, they and pop back out. And release the button. So, all right, all right Gert, uh, it looks like we got friends to come up and help. So, press that button in, in again. And I'm going to press uh, my button in the uh, same time he does his. Okay. Hey, hey guys. You hear I, that You hear that click again? Quick recap of what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so, every single time someone tries to open the door at the top of the stairs, the stairs become a sure. slide. Um... Quentin found a button at the base of the stairs that reverts <laughs> that revert the um, stairs back. And then um, Quentin also found a button at the top by the You've door. You've been doing a lot of work, huh, Q? Hey, mm-hmm. someone's got to be the QVB. Oh, stop this. Never mind. I, I, I forgot I said anything. Um, all right. So, that, all right, so that's all we found. We found two <laughs> buttons and one staircase that keeps like turned to a slide. We can't get to this door, right? All right. Mm-hmm. Has anyone inspected anything else? Uh, There's really oh not wait, a whole lot in this room. A, inspected the open window, but we didn't get back to that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you were hanging out the um the window and you were looking up, <coughs> and much like you thought when you were walking up the stairs to get to this tower, uh, this room, there's a lot of space between this window and the next window up. Sorry, Sister Nova's um, character thing. My my whole thing's like going crazy. Um, let me see. I don't know why. Uh, did that fix it? No. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> Is it plugged in? It's, um... Basically, I it's whenever I try and drag it up, it goes down. Whenever I try and drag it down, it goes more down. <laughs> so I, and it's currently at the bottom of the screen. Sister Nova's currently outside. <laughs> so I, I cannot move my token. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. How about now? No. <laughs> did you get? Did we get inverted controls? I, I, I don't know. Let me Are see. Are you an airplane? Me too. Oh hey, 
Okay, okay, she's working. She's working now. There we go. So what what do I see out the window? So you look up, you're looking you're looking to see if it would be, you know, um, feasible to climb up the walls. Um, the distance between this window and the next window up is very, very large. Quit stepping on my foot. But is it possible? With the right tools and given enough time, it's possible, yes. But not probable. It would be very difficult. It would be difficult for everybody in this party, with the exception of Holly Hera, if she was using some sort of wild, uh, shape. wild shaping hoo 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 Okay. It begs I... different. What if I use my javelins like pegs? Yeah. Well, that's what I said. I, I, I said it would be difficult. Well, it would be difficult, if, if, but not impossible. If I may, crew, we're kind of already in position to try this door thing again at least oh. one more time. So okay, I push maybe try that first. Or, I mean, yeah. I try the door handle. So let me. So let me. Let me understand. So we've got Quentin at the bottom with his finger pushing in the button at the bottom. We've got Gur at the top with both hands pushing in the one. And I try the door handle. You go to turn the door handle and the door starts to give way. You start to feel it being able to push. You hear the scrape of, of steel and stone just... All right, guys. Is uh, it open? I think that's got it. Because I'm assuming I heard the now, door open. You did. Now, here's the thing. Um... A lot of video games, right before a very tough area, will give you this, um, like... Uh, the little warning message, like, we're about to put you on rails hard. You will not, not necessarily on rails hard, but ne necessarily like, hey, if you go through this doorway, you better be prepared. Or I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you that warning here as a, as a DM to my uh, players, um, once you go through this doorway, there is no coming back until you complete this tower. And this will be probably the last safe space that you will have until someone dies. Well, I'm sorry. What? I said, I didn't say player character. Did I? I said someone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Well, let's have a tea party. Yes! <laughs> let's have a tea party. Uh, uh, Sister Nova, goes, or, or, or where are you placing this tea party? Um, I think next to the window. I think we've got a nice little, like, I like the silhouette of the window and, like, you know, the little sun coming through. And, and so, and thanks yeah. And thanks to Quentin, a, ro a really nice breeze coming in. Yeah. You know, like a little picnic. Oh my All god, right. I'm gonna go get my eyeliner. Whee! <laughs> yes. Um so yeah, you um you you uh, where were you placing it again? I'm so sorry. Um it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll uh yeah, move move your token to where you're going I, to be placing this X. tea party out. Oh right there. Okay, so um boom, so you uh uh pop out this <laughs> wonderful table. Table? A table. So cool. Uh huh. Yeah. A table pops out. Actually, nope. I found a better table. Nope. Never mind. Hold on. The fuck. Um. That's no. not a better table. That's a better table. Whoa! That's Whoa. a carpet, bro. Not a table. So, so <laughs> the whole shebang pops out with the the plates, the finger sandwiches, the oh, hold on, you guys. Uh, let me let me move oh, that to the back. I'm um, just gonna point out, uh, Gray. You do need a rug to tie the whole room together. That's true. That's true. That's very true. When you're right, you're right, Q, and you are uh, wrong. But uh, all, just always right, I know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, the 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 magical tea party pops out. You've got um, uh, tea uh, no, and crumpets they, 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 and uh, scones uh, and cucumber crumpets. sandwiches. And Upon sister um, uh, producing the tea party, did we just automatically poof 
into our uh, tea party garb. Into your tea party clothes, you absolutely. Tea Anyone party in... get different tea party clothes per tea party, right? I, it's yep. It's it's basically it's basically whatever whatever the person is feeling the moment the tea party becomes active are the clothes about that just people's poof. regular mornings, my guy. You're talking about like when we get up and we're like, what am I feeling today? What am I going to have big mm-hmm. footy pajamas? Mm-hmm. Yes. So Gur shows up to this tea party wearing the footy pajamas. Uh, I'm assuming he sits at the head, head of the table because, of course. Yeah, yeah. And he cautiously inspects every piece of furniture for tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Quint, uh, Quentin, um, what are what are you wearing uh, this time? Well, yes. this time, huh? Um, if you want to circle back, yeah, we can go. Yeah, we can go down the line, back. and we can go to. Holly Hara, what are you wearing this time for your uh, tea party? Um, Holly Hara is feeling very um, dark and um, a little bit violent. So she's kind of rocking like a Morticia Adams kind of style dress, all black with like a veil on, just kind of um, mad. I'm in. I'm in. Absolutely. Um... We already know Gurr's wearing the footy pajamas. <laughs> Sister Nova, what uh, I th- what magically appeared on you this time? I think Sister Nova is feeling very confused and like a great sense of shame. Um, so this is going to be her breakfast club outfit instead of last time where she went to the um <laughs> to the, the to gala. The gala. Yeah. Um, so like she's got a little like a hairband and like a turtleneck and like a knee length skirt and like knee high socks and like some loafer shoes and like very like dark academia core and you know a little like bow tie and like a like a jumper or like a sweater or whatever you guys call it like a sweater vest like and it's kind of like got darker tones like purple and stuff and she, very like prim and proper yeah looking. very prim and proper and she's got like you know these like round like silver glasses um kind of like harry potter glasses but like huge like discs of silver i love asking you to describe anything about your character it is fantastic um <clears throat> Uh, Gray, what are, what, what is Gray wearing at this, uh, 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 I feel, so I, uh, Gray is feeling both very cringe, uh, and very him. So he's wearing, he's wearing, uh, (laughs) imagine a half orc, very big boy, a very thick boy wearing some real skinny jeans, uh, and they are they are they are just like painted on to his rippling thighs and his uh, pulsating calves, and he's got slippers, not shoes, but all black velvety slippers on his feet. Um, not like house slippers that you slide into, but the kind where you pull up the lip behind your heel, and you, these could be worn outside. You know, they could be they could be functional, but you're you're rocking slippers and you could also be doing things. Um, and then his upper half has got, well, I mean, nothing less than a studded belt with three rows and uh, three rows, you know, vertically. And then they go all around the whole belt um, of which he can't really fit into the belt. He thought like oh, this is the right size. And then he brought it home and he's like, oh, man, shit, I'm like three or four loops short of what I needed. He's got that on. Um, I feel like Gurr is in his 40s right now and trying to, like, relive his... Or not Gurr, right? He's trying to, like, relive his whole, like, you know, uh, fucking uh, flea bag life as a child. And uh, then there's, a there's like, a, a, a suit vest that's not attached to a suit, like, for a five-piece suit, but just the, just the vest. And then a fucking t-shirt for some dumb reason. Um, this is such a great mental image. <laughs> but wait, but wait for this because uh, you see um, uh, 
Sniffler hop out of his um, his bar bag and uh, kind of just plops himself down onto the uh, table next to you. And he is no top, but the TikTok leggings. He's got the TikTok leggings on. And let me tell you, Sniffler got a booty. What have you done? God what have you done? There's a whole new world open to me. So, uh, so, so, if, if please don't what... fuck Sniffler. Please don't. Oh, right. Please don't. That's not what don't. I meant. I meant like visually when you're creating art for the, the stream, you sick bastard. Listen. Okay. We, we need a new I'm episode. the sick bastard. Okay. I said a whole new world open <laughs> to me. I didn't say sexually. What is happening? <laughs> no, what, mean, what what Gray is really saying is this has awakened something inside of me. <laughs> opened up to me should never be used in reference to an ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You you brought this you upon yourself. It's about marketing. Look, so look, look, look. You want to sexualize Sniffler for marketing? I didn't do it. He did it. Why am I getting blamed for something he did? Hey. What's happening here? Listen, what? Hey, I know what sells in this country, okay? We gotta put Sniffler as an emoticon in those fucking things, but we also need to have this, like, And he's got he's, he's 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 got his back arched yes. a little bit, popping little out the booty, broken. and he's <laughs> turning his head back and, and looking like, like that. His, like, leggings I hate curls. England, but I'm glad I'm not American. <laughs> you should be very very yeah, happy yeah, about of that. Of course. But we need that. We need that. We need that to be a fucking form of art for our stream right now. I'm sorry. Immediately. I'm Let's so get on sorry. Fiverr. Let's make things happen. I have it's no so money, cursed. but I'll throw my nothing at it. Let's it's go. So cursed. And his I little belly. It. Just imagine no. his like furry little belly and him being like, no, I won't. like looking back at you with like a <laughs> with a weird like Babs Bunny look, like looking backwards. You know what I'm saying? No. Like this is fucking funny. It's good shit. It's good shit for him, for our boy. Our boy. Are they them, actually, at this point? Jen Washitoshi, are you a furry? It's okay if the answer is yes. I, I mean, I'm not. I have no shame. I would say yes <laughs> if I okay. was. But I'm... <laughs> I'd say I'm not, but I, I wouldn't knock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try I, it. Why not? I don't shame you. Know anything until, like, and actually, you know what? I would only say no to something that made me feel uncomfortable, and almost nothing makes me feel uncomfortable. So, I'm good. Look, I've been trying to get my wife to paint herself green because that just that that, that just opens no. up a fantasy for me that I've had for a long time. So, I mean, green green, green body paint is just one <laughs> step below like fur suit. So, like, I can see that it's not that bad. What I love about this situation, uh, one's is human, that. one's not. Though. See, that... just when I saw it, it couldn't get worse. It got worse. <laughs> yeah. And I think what the look even Star worse Trek did a number I'm, on I'm me not as a child. Saying no, because I think there's something wrong with you. I'm saying no because of the mess. I don't want to be covered in paint. Who's going to clean that shit up? It's like you know, you you, you have to do that in green bed sheets. Quiet. Like, yeah. He's like, you were like, who's going to clean that shit up for my fans? And he was like. I'm just saying, it's his fantasy. Uh, <laughs> just get some plastic, put it down on the bed. We're good. True. We buy one drop cloth from Depot. <laughs> like bed all butter. Weird and sweet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> okay. It throw it out. It's fine. It's like in a hey, Dexter kill room how's or how's something like that. How's everybody enjoying their tea? Yeah, tea party. Yay. Oh, wait, yes. What are you wearing? Well, look, we did. Yeah, we didn't get to what Q was wearing. Let's get to what Q was wearing, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll close out on I'm that. I'm really angry uh, at what. You Thank you, Atlas, or make the sheets into artwork. Mm. Oh shit, I'd buy it. What I was mean, Q wearing? What's Q wearing? What was Q wearing? Feeling my soul. And tell me, and tell me why it's green body paint. You guys like weird sex art on my wall. I would put it on there. And I, no, no, see, see, now that took it too far. <laughs> that took it too far. <laughs> well, I was just buying a product you're making, weirdos. Like, it's not, you keep blaming the guy who's just trying to participate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to participate now? <laughs> what? That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. <laughs> I'm not even, shut up. I hate you guys. Babe, I think we found our unicorn. Oh, hey, hey, good devil. What is <laughs> Somebody help! Oh, and that's why today was a bones day, everybody. What was 
Sorry. Welcome back. What are you wearing? Yeah, please. What were you wearing, Q, so we can we can end this yeah, abomination? God help me. I've been trying. Uh, so uh, again, I'm really upset at what you gave Sniffler because uh, what I had imagined because I like having just seen my uh, my mirror self. <clears throat> Um, I, like, I'm feeling it, I want it, like, I am just really trying to, you know, entrench myself in chaos. So, not only am I wearing, uh, a, uh, just, uh, you know, a plain, a pretty plain t- tie-dye sh- t-shirt, uh, with, uh, Nyan Cat, uh, flying through, uh, the galaxy, uh, but I am also wearing, uh, some, uh, Really form-fitting uh, juicy couture. Uh, is that what it was called? Uh, those pants? And I have the word meat in uh, bedazzlement on my booty. Uh, as well as uh, ra- rainbow Crocs in four-wheeler mode. In case you don't know, uh, four- four-wheeler mode is when you take the, the no. thing across the top of the Crocs and move it to the no. heel. So that way it doesn't fly off when you're doing some running. Uh, did, 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 I, did I break Sister Nova? <laughs> <laughs> look here, look I think this entire conversation, the last no, 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 10 no, no. minutes After have just broken everybody. Just got discussed, like, how is that what got you? It's Crocs, man. The Crocs! <laughs> no! Look, tonight, don't tonight get, and, and I, I'm immediately gonna stomp up to uh, to Sister Nova and be like, "Don't you judge me in my rubber masturbating shoes." Woo! No, 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 no. It's all supposed to be thinly veiled. You're part of the kimono. <laughs> yeah, kimono. right. You can't just come out and say Wait, it. The only thing I know about Crocs is that they're technically edible. Shut up. The same material is in a Subway sandwich. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no, it's in like, they actually are edible. Yeah, Crocs we're not going to would... put that, we're not going to put that information out in either because, oh. you know, we have, we've already had people try to eat Tide Pods. All right, yeah. everyone. Um, You heard it here first. If you have Crocs, go to your closet right now and have yourself a meal. It, it, they don't mm. taste nice, but like, they are edible. You've tried them. Yeah. I mean, technically, okay. most leather shoes are edible, so... Well, yeah, okay, but the thing what is, right... Here, folks, what does this happen? What is happening? Technically, I guess you could literally eat anything if you put your mind to it. Well, no, but, like... Now Crocs... you sound like your husband. Not Something is wrong. This whole... Anything is a kink oh if you God, try hard enough. come full cycle. <laughs> I'm destroyed. I'm internally I... destroyed today. Today... All right. Yeah, Let's yeah. Uh, there are so many. Yeah, the, the, I, ha- I have a bunch of images that are going to make it impossible oh, for me to uh, to go to sleep. Oh you my goodness, Hogward Eagle yeah, rating. So Thank good. you so much for the raid. Hey, Raiders, you totally came in at the best part. We were literally just talking about green women, furries, and um, juicy couture pants with bedazzled meat on the bum. <laughs> oh, no, no, so no. that is literally the past ten <laughs> minutes that you have missed. Campaign, but I fully wanted to. Absolutely had everything to do with the campaign. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, bro. Thank you, dude. Thanks for hopping in, and saying hi, and raiding us. Thank you very much. Hi. Yeah, that's thank awesome. You. Thank you. Save us. <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Well, hey, Raiders, I want to thank you all for joining us. Stick around because we're going to throw you into another raid. <laughs> uh, Double raid action. What do you know? But um, thank you all so very much for joining us uh, in this wonderful, uh, fun filled uh Last ten minute debauchery. Uh, session, yeah. We lasted. Listen, no, it's not the most, and we lasted a really long time before we like completely derailed. We've had multiple streams in which we like began the stream, derailed, and never. never yeah, off. to be yeah. honest with you, the the stream the stream did not go off the rails until we were ready to end. So good Absolutely. job, everybody. Progress. You all, if you don't have if you don't have inspiration. I want you to give your guy yourself inspiration. Yeah, That's what you get for not derailing the campaign until it was this point yeah. in time. I appreciate it. Everybody you all. think Hawkward Eagle. Give him give him ever a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More hearts in the chat. So the chat. um 
Yeah, throw hearts in the chat for 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 for, for that wonderful raid. We don't get raided often, guys. This is a big deal. Huh? <laughs> no, it is. It's huge. I love being raided. Raid me, Daddy. Stop it. Nope. Stop. I, I we just no. figured it just fits with yeah, how, no. what we, how what we were talking about. Here for no. that. No. No. They no, they did. <laughs> no, 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 no. They weren't here for it. But maybe that they want to be. We have to repeat mm -hmm. it. End the stream. Gosh, get us out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get a raid together. <laughs> uh, wonderful uh, owner of the stream, for the please. Record, I was spend the rest of my night with you guys. Like, I, just, I love you all so much. Come on over, man. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to keep. But you obviously want to be a part of it, so just fucking get, get on, get, you better hurry up. <laughs> she right goes now. to bed soon. <laughs> It's just you bring hey you bring the green you bring the green paint I'll bring the furry suit <laughs> actually pin my bedroom green oh my like the oh, one wait. first bedroom I ever got was green yeah no maybe not let's not let's just um <laughs> no no I'm with you well, look how right. terrifying as soon as as soon as we get the rates there we go we're we're rating, rolling these twenties. So uh, make sure, hey, make sure everybody, when you uh, raid with us, you are representing not only uh, yourselves, but us. That's the lords and ladies of fate. That's all of us together wrapped into one big uh, conglomerate mess. Uh, so remember to be behave yourselves. Don't be, don't be don't dicks. Don't be like us. Be, don't, yeah, don't be like us. No, be the opposite of us, please, please. But... We are. When you get in there, make sure you spam them with the raid emotes. Hit them with all the You're emotes. Just kisses. make their chat come alive. Um, now, uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and close this out the way we close out every Wednesday with the patented Lords and Ladies of Fate catchphrase where we all in unison say the exact same thing, not six different things at the same time and definitely doesn't change each week. So... Everybody, on the count of three, let's give them that catchphrase. One, two, three. Sure Someone's going to die. Just one. I have nothing to do with that. Why? There is no uh, plan to because uh, this is... I started singing it not knowing what it was.